and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure for me to be here and to deliver a speech on the occasion of the closing session of the World Export Development Forum 2017 in Budapest. As I said it before, it has been an amazing journey for us. Two years ago, we convinced the government of Hungary to host the conference, and then we applied. One year ago, we took over the opportunity to organize. And now coming to the end of this journey, I can assure you that uh, we are grateful to be a part of it. It is an honor to be the first country within the Central European region to host the Forum. The Forum was an excellent opportunity for Hungary to showcase its strengths, its capabilities and potential. With its central theme of trade, a force for good, include, innovate and integrate, the Forum serves to connect SMEs into the global economy while also promoting Hungary as a hub of creativity and innovative trade practices. I can say without doubt that Budapest is located in the heart of Europe. It's a melting point of cultures and trade routes that creates an inclusive and inspiring environment with opportunities for every enterprise from all around the world to succeed. This is all the more compelling as we have the opportunity to host such a prestigious event as VEDEF in Budapest when hundreds of visitors come or came to our city and have hopefully fruitful negotiations. Let me remind you on the words of the Executive Director, Madame Gonzalez. We are here, or we were here, not only to talk about business, but to doing business. Over 300 accepted B2B meetings took place, on which 45 international and 60 Hungarian companies uh, participated. Yesterday evening, Deputy Minister Magyar enlightened that all true times have changed. One thing is common. We all came here to focus on trade again. In Hungary, innovation and tradition cannot be separated from each other. Moreover, I think that this sentence can be a compass for other nations as well especially when we are facing the same challenges regarding sustainability, creating opportunity for SMEs, acquiring skills, answering technological challenges, and developing connectivity. Talking on sustainability, remember the inspiring words of the President of Hungary. We do not use the interest and the dividends of the natural capital, but we live the capital itself. It is time to change and act. Creating opportunity for SMEs. Remember the words of Minister Sierto, who confirmed that the aim of the government is to increase the share of small and medium-sized enterprises in the export dramatically. The government of Hungary therefore helps to improve the competitiveness of companies and also provides support for these companies to enter into supplier chain of multinational companies. Remember the spectacular Pesti Vigado. It has become the venue of culture and art. And yesterday we were celebrating the power of music that integrated us. Not only music, but also export and international trade have the power of integration. Hungary has a very open economy with an accent to our traditional European markets. However, we decided to make the trade-oriented foreign policy of ours to step into the next phase 
by strengthening our economic relations with uh, economic actors of eastern and southern regions. And I strongly believe that this can have a positive impact on both sides. On WEDEF 17, we researched together how trade can work for all. Business leaders, policymakers looked at possible possibilities to boost competitiveness from infrastructure to connectivity, skills and innovation. A high-level public-private dialogue looked at opportunities for SMEs in regional trade routes. It also featured the international launch of the SME Competitiveness Outlook 2017. It was also great to see finalists of the Young Entrepreneurs Competition pitching live on stage their business cases to attract investors. Let me congratulate winner, the winners once again. We also discussed why empowering women to trade matters, talked about ITC's She Trades, she Trades program aiming to connect 1 million women entrepreneurs to markets by 2020. I do hope that hosting the forum contributed to highlighting Hungary's openness to international trade and path towards an improved business environment, serving more effectively the interests of countries the most in need. Our plan was to make this event unique in all respects. The masters of ceremony and the colleagues serving as a liaisons were all uh, or colleagues or trade and economic attaches. The aim behind was that we wanted to have persons who do know and understand export development. And to share another secret with you, uh, the bags, the official gift bag, was also designed by an internationally successful Hungarian designer who used to uh, engage to foreign trade. She was actually our colleague at the foreign trade department a couple of years ago. We are delighted to have the next host of WEDEF among us. We congratulate and uh, we will be pleased to share our experience in organization, organizing the forum along with ITC. Finally, I would like to uh, express my gratitude towards all the partners for trusting us, ITC especially. I wanted to mention, and I would also like to thank all participants and the organizers, and. Uh, this time I would like to say special thanks to the interpreters for uh, their brilliant work and for all the effort they made before and during this event to make these days spent together in Budapest unforgettable. Thank you very much for your kind attention. And now I would like to ask Madame Arancha Gonzalez, the Executive Director of the International Trade Center, to come to the stage and deliver her final remarks at the 17th World Export Development Forum. So as we come to the end of uh, this uh, 17th edition of the World Export Development Forum, I want to thank the people and the government uh, of Hungary for the partnership, hospitality, friendship that has made uh, the past two days both thought-provoking but also great fun. A particular round of applause should go to the team at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, including uh, the amazing Dorothea and Gabor, who took uh, time off their daily jobs uh, as commercial attaches to be uh, our MCs here. So please, a big round of applause. 
I also want to thank um, the exceptional thought leaders and entrepreneurs uh, we have heard from during this conference on issues ranging from crowdfunding uh, to uh, green uh, trade, value chains, uh, women's empowerment, environmental sustainability, uh, you uh, should know that we will take home lots of new ideas that will inform our work and will inform our business models. So whatever you have shared with us uh, will not be wasted. The connections made here uh, promise to yield new contracts and new partnerships. Let me outline some of uh, the things that happened in the room behind us while we were talking about trade here. Some links were quite unexpected. For example, I was very surprised to hear about uh, a connection between a Hungarian business and a Myanmar company. Hungary will export corn oil uh, to Myanmar, whereas Myanmar will export uh, sesame seeds uh, in the opposite direction. We saw businesses take steps to move from agriculture to agribusiness. A Colombian firm that is now selling nuts of the Sacha Inchi plant is looking to import processing machinery from Hungary that would allow it to sell value-added oils and high-protein flour. And yes, green does mean business. A Hungarian water treatment firm uh, is uh, poised to visit two companies in Qatar uh, where their technologies could help save water and save costs. Yesterday, someone asked about uh, trade uh, for the 99%. Today, I can tell you about a Gambian agri-food firm that is in talks with a company from the Philippines for solutions to transform mango peels and seeds into animal feed and inputs for the cosmetic industry. South-South cooperation for waste to wealth. These are some of the ideas of what has been happening uh, in the room uh, behind us. These are some of the uh, fruits uh, of this, uh, not just two days, but six months in which uh, companies have been uh, preparing uh, to come and talk business and do business with each other. What I can do is urge you, urge you all to build on the contacts you have made here and uh, as part of the WEDEF family to please stay in touch with ITC and to let us know about what happens with all these contacts uh, that uh, you have taken. And this is important for us because we want to demonstrate that all of this is not just a talk shop, that this yields to results. We know that it yields to results, but it's even better when you tell us and you tell everybody that it has yielded a specific results. It's now my pleasure to present uh, Deputy Secretary of State uh, Petra Pana with a small token of ITC's appreciation for the work of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Uh, but before we close, um, and before I do that, uh, it's uh, probably uh, time uh, to look ahead. Uh, last year, WEDEF took us to Sri Lanka, the pearl of the Indian Ocean. This year brought us to be uh, to the pearl of the Danube, to Budapest. The 18th edition of WEDEF will be held at another crossroads, this time between Eastern and Southern Africa. Um, this is why on behalf of ITC, I want to thank the government of Zambia uh, for offering to host uh, next year's uh, conference. Thank you uh, very, very much, uh, <laughs> Secretary Kayula Agnes Siame permanent secretary of Zambia's Ministry of Commerce, Trade and Industry uh, for uh, your uh, kind offer. Uh, if you could uh, come up uh, and share your views uh, with us, it would be great. But before we do that, let me give Petra a token of our appreciation. And no, it's not a weapon of mass destruction, no. although it's a bit heavy. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thanking this um, beautiful, uh, let's say, memory and award in uh, the name of my crew. Thank you once again, Rita, and uh, 
all the other others from the department and not to let you arancha with uh, empty hands uh, in the name of the department i would like to give you a little present and i hope that you will wear it with you know in a good health good thank you so much thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, um, Executive Director for ITC, Mrs. Um, Gonzalez Aranchas Gonzalez, Dr. Petra Panda from the Ministry of Trade and from Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade here in Hungary, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. I'm very delighted to be with you here today um, as we come to the end of the WEDEF, the 17th WEDEF Forum, which also means the beginning of the WEDEF, the 18th WEDEF. Let me start first by congratulating the people and the government of Hungary for a very, very successful WEDEF conference today. And let me also thank the ICT, ITC team for also organizing this WEDEF conference and ensuring that a commercially and meaningful exercise has been undertaken. The ideas that have been brought here today I think will help us as a country as we look forward to next year to ensure that we can promote equitable and inclusive development. The contacts that have also been made to here will be very, very helpful as we look at new trade and investment deals, partnerships, and business models. Next year, as has already been mentioned, the forum will be held in Zambia. It will be an honor to welcome all of you to Zambia as we host and hold the 18th uh, WEDEF Forum. Over the past uh, two years, or over the past two days, um, we have heard a lot about regional trade. And Zambia sits actually at the crossroads of three regional groupings. Zambia is at the heart of the common market for East and Southern Africa, a block which consists of about over 500 million people from Egypt to Ethiopia to Kenya to Zimbabwe. We are also a member of the Southern African Development Community, which also fosters economic and social cooperation with among 16 countries, including South Africa, Mozambique, Angola, and the Union of Comoros. As both of these groupings, we are also involved in the tripartite negotiations, which is the third block, which means that Zambia, we actually have access to over 26 countries in Africa for free trade. So really, that's a lot. You can imagine how much trade we can do within Africa itself. In addition to that, Zambia also has tariff-free access to the United States market and the EU market under the EBA arrangement. And lest you think or lest you doubt that Zambia is committed to the open, rule-based economy, Zambia was actually one of the founding members of the WTO. And in Zambia, we really understand the importance of free trade. We understand the importance of value addition, of diversification, because we have had a historical reliance on copper. And we have moved and we are moving away from relying only on one export commodity. So really when we talk of diversification and value addition, it's something that really touches on the very, very fabrics of what we are doing going forward. And through the Ministry of Commerce, Trade and Industry, we really look forward to partnering with ITC to organize the next WEDEF. I should say that we look forward to continuing and deepening our partnership with ITC because we are already collaborating with ITC on a number of other projects that are, hope, that are helping our own SMEs to export in Zambia. Through our Zambia Development Agency, our trade investment promotion organization has already been working closely with ITC. And using ITC advisory services, we have, we have managed to upgrade a lot of our management and operational processes. In the cotton and the honey sectors, ITC projects have helped Zambian producers create more value and connect to the international markets. Through promoting investments, we have also helped to develop links with Zambia and China for agro-processing and light manufacturing. Earlier in the year, ITC was one of the three organizers of a conference we had in Zambia on the green finance. And one example of how Lusaka is becoming a very, very popular destination for trade and for investment. Earlier this year as well as Zambia, in May, we hosted the Ease of Doing Business Conference for East and Southern Africa, and that was also successfully hosted. So in closing, 
we would like to look, we look forward to connecting all our SMEs to the regional and the global networks of buyers and sellers. And let me once again take this opportunity to thank Hungary for hosting this successful forum and to mention that we will definitely be looking forward to sharing, to your sharing with us some of the lessons you have learned, the best practices, so that we can ensure that we also host a very, very successful forum. You have set the bar very high. So we know that what we need to do is meet that bar or do even better. But thank you very much, ITC, for the confidence that you've given us as Zambia to host the next Weather Forum. And you can see that when you come to Lusaka next year, we will make sure that we make it a very, very memorable forum. And before I end and before I wish you well to come to Lusaka, we'd just like to show you a very, very short uh, video of what you would expect in Lusaka, when you come to Lusaka. This is just uh, a small sample. For, for those of you who don't know, Lusaka is in Zambia. And Zambia is in southern Africa, surrounded by eight countries, Mozambique, Angola, Malawi, Zimbabwe, Namibia, Tanzania, and Congo DRC. So those are the neighbors that we have, the Zambia, eight neighbors in the heart of southern Africa. So see you in Lusaka next, week, next year, and please, if you can look forward to the, just as a small example of what you'd expect when you come next year. Thank you. Zambia is a land blessed with some of the world's most precious spectacles, such as the mighty Victoria Falls, one of the seven wonders of the world. There are over 20 national parks and 34 game management areas in the country with a wide range of wildlife. Zambia's economic landscape is fast changing, creating commercial liveliness led by the private sector. In recent years, the performance has been positive, with real gross domestic product GDP growth rate averaging 6.9% over the last five years. It is one of the rising economies in Africa and continues to receive international acclaim for being one of the best investment destinations. In 2015, Zambia was ranked fourth in Comesa and eighth in Africa in terms of ease of doing business by the World Bank. It was also the eighth most competitive country in Africa on the Global Competitiveness Index, while Forbes classified it as the seventh best country for doing business among 54 African countries. Zambia is quickly becoming the regional business hub because of its thriving investment opportunities. Strategically located and a member of the Southern Africa Development Community, SADEC, and the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, Comesa, it is the best destination for an investor with a vision to tap into the regional market. Zambia also provides a free market liberalized economic environment in a stable, strife-free and multicultural society. The Zambian government welcomes investors across sectors and the laws relating to investment provide investment incentives and protection to increase investment and international trade as well as increase domestic economic growth. Zambia is the best destination for uh, foreign direct investment. Um, I believe we are uh, sitting at a stage uh, in the economic development of the country where we are needing to ensure that we get our fair share of foreign direct investment and also ensuring that uh, local industry uh, is also flourishing. So we believe much as FDI is important, we believe that must be married with a very strong private sector um, led economy where the locals are participating. So the marriage between foreign and local for us is absolutely critical. Zambia for a long time has remained a hidden jewel. We don't want to keep hiding this excellent jewel. We want you to come and experience it for yourselves. It's been peaceful for many years. We've been independent for 50 years. And in all that time, we've had a transition, a very peaceful transition. And we've seen through a successful uh, transitioning from one president to another. And this has happened six times. It can't be more peaceful than that. Another area of a comparative advantage that Zambia has is, is its strength in youth. Zambia's population is just about 15 million uh, people and 68% of that, which is roughly uh, 10 million, are youth. And you know the youth are hungry to learn, hungry to work, 
and very, very well exposed in terms of literacy levels here. The mining sector has been a mainstay for Zambia for many years, especially copper. But we have cobalt, we have zinc, we have lead. We also have semi-precious stones like tourmaline and, uh, and aquamarine. Again, I invite you to come and um, explore these with us. Recently, we've had discoveries of uranium. So if that's your area of expertise, you can come in and uh, you'll be granted the necessary licenses to come and mine uh, uranium. In 2006, the government enacted the Zambia Development Agency ZDA Act to foster economic growth and development by promoting trade and investment through an efficient, effective and coordinated private sector-led economic development strategy. The agency also guarantees that property rights and investments are protected. Anyone investing in our economy, in our country, will have access to the SADC region, which embraces 250 million people, in addition to our own 50 million people. We also have access to the Comesa region, which embraces another 400 million people. So the market potential for anyone investing in Zambia embraces somewhere in the region of 700 million people. That's a vast market for any business to work in. So that's when we say see you in, Th in Zambia next year. Uh, but let me, in closing, uh, ask you uh, for a big round of applause uh, to uh, the Hungarian uh, staff at the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs and Trade, but also uh, for ITC staff uh, for their work, uh, the work they've put on uh, making this WEDEF happen. Uh, both the people that were here, those uh, that you have seen, uh, and I want uh, uh, to uh, look at Sibylle, whom I know has spent a lot of time uh, in making this happen. She is the visible face. Behind her, there is lots of, lots of people here in Budapest, but also in Geneva, where uh, we want to say hello to all our colleagues who have been following uh, WEDEF and uh, tweeting it to the rest of the world. Thank you very much again and see you in Zambia.